Honestly, no matter where you're from or who you root for, there is an opinion of Johnny Manziel's career so far. That's right. KX HD News reporter Alexandra Bush visited the Texas A&M campus today, showing us the response from Aggieland to Manziel's decision to enter treatment. Loyalty, that's one of the principles Texas A&M stands by, and that's what students are showing Johnny football. Aggies always support each other, and so I think this will, will definitely um, have his back during this time of need. He's been such a role model to so many, um, and in ways it's cool that he's humbled himself to do that, but at the same time, uh, it's kind of a scary thought to, you know, to know a role model um, has checked himself into rehab. So. It has only been a little more than a year since Johnny has played here at Kyle Field. Johnny is actually, I think, 20 days older than me, 23 days older than me, something like that. The vast majority of college student substance abusers are recreational users, and they have this mentality that this is all part of the college experience, and that when they uh, exit college, they'll stop. Um, and for most of them, that's true. But there's a, a, s a small segment of the population who are establishing patterns uh, in the way that they use substances that will continue on uh, in the later years of their life. I cannot imagine um, being a 22-year-old playing in the National Football League and ha being as popular uh, and polarizing as he is. The idea is how can they use substances but use substances in a way that doesn't undermine the rest of their life or, or sabotage them. So I hope that this will be a learning experience for him and I hope that he can um, one day use this and teach others um, because like I said, people want to see Johnny Manziel. And Aggies would love to see him back on the field. In College Station, Alexandra Bush, KAGS HD News.